Okay, quick video. I have wound a transformer for my Pulse applications. Uh, it is 31 gauge wire twisted together, which you should be able to see, and wound 90 turns around an EA77-375 material 77 Amadon core. And I've got it on 600 ohm. So with 500 ohm output, or 50 ohm output, I'm good down to 2K, 2 kilohertz, with pretty flat waveform. Oh, no, I thought it was. Huh. Well, anyway, pretty flat waveform, not real flat. But if we go higher, say we go up to 36, I'm planning on using this around 36 kilohertz, so. Um, We'll go 32. That's a good waveform. Pretty square output and pretty flat. I'm at 32 kilohertz. If I go all the way up to 2 megahertz and then expand out, same exact amplitude. So it's not um, being too inductive of a load. But, so that's 21. Um, also, <clears throat> to calculate the actual inductance, I'm going to put it on square wave. I'm going to raise my impedance to 600 ohm. I'm going to adjust the frequency so it drops halfway. So right now the frequency is 21.66, and it is dropping to half of its amplitude. Um, before the next waveform switches on. And that's with a 50 ohm, or 600 ohm output. So I should be able to figure out the uh, inductance at that frequency um, for this coil. <clears throat> um, you'll notice if we go way up here to um, 50 ohm, I'm just going to show it as I bring it down. I'm at 200 megahertz and we'll just lower it slowly. One megahertz. We're already down to 200. Switch the range. 14, and it goes all the way up to 100. So, doing good at those frequencies, say between a uh, uh, I don't know. Pretty flat once you get up to 20. And even a little below that, that's at 10 kilohertz. So that's good. I mean, that will drive a MOSFET, no doubt. Um, or whatever you're trying to drive. So that is all.